After the rogue nerfs with the latest patch, a lot of rogue players are in despair, even going as far as to <laughs> run hand cross. But <coughs> thankfully, though, there is a solution. <laughs> Just play a different class. As a barbarian, you play common viking sword you can reach 70 damage per headshot and 109 percent move speed while your rage is up coupled with achilles strike if you hit somebody they just can't get away from you it's game over fun fact achilles strike works with a thrown lantern as if it wasn't already easy enough to use with a purple viking sword you're hitting for 90 damage on a headshot and this is with a dex build and you can easily get over 170 HP. Again, with a dex build, not building bigger. Barbarians are pretty strong right now, and a lot of players have caught on, and, and that's why at least half of every solo match is barbarians. Coupled with streamers like Repose doing it, it goes to show that you don't need to be a rogue to landmine, it's just a playstyle. Every looting or extraction game ever has rats. Daisy, Escape from Tarkov, Hunt Showdown, they all have their fair population of ratty players. But even though barbarians have better move speed and health and damage than rogues, they can't go invisible, right? And if they drink an invisibility potion, it's not as good. They can't move 10 steps. Well, barbarians have a base kit 3% buff duration bonus, which means that Compared to a rogue's negative 11%, Barb's invisibility potion will last 14% longer. So it's just kind of funny that barbarians technically are better with invisibility potions than a rogue. Honestly though, you don't really need invisibility potions. Just step into a small shadow and 99% of players aren't going to throw a torch into every dark spot in every room that they go into. Unless they hear you first. Ranged classes are arguably more annoying. I already made a whole video doing this with the windless crossbow and true shot on ranger. Granted, it did get nerfed, but you can still chunk people for over 100 damage pretty easily. With rogues now having the lowest base kit HP and damage in the game, 75 HP and negative 30% physical damage, it requires more gear to have decent stats and damage than any other class. And even with good gear, you're still gonna die in 2-3 hits to other geared players. So as far as landmine goes, other classes are just better right now than the landmine class Rogue. Rogue has been kind of relegated to being a shittier damage but higher mobility ranger with the double jump hand bow build. Let's see how playing like a Rogue on other classes works out. I don't want to pack. Good morning. You're hiding somewhere. I don't know. I assure you, I'm very friendly. I'm a rogue, but I'm friendly. Whoa, shit. And 
even though I fucked up and I didn't have my Viking sword out to catch him, I uh, killed him anyway. And he had a ton of stuff. I thought he was like <laughs> base kit. Of course, it's not all doom and gloom for Rogue. It's still perfectly viable and playable. You just have to know how to pick your targets depending on what skill you have. You don't need any particular skill for killing Rogues, Rangers, Bards, or Slayer Fighters, but Cutthroat will help you. Cutthroat helps a lot against Wizards and Warlocks, but you can still kill them without it. Whereas with Weak Point, it helps a lot more against fighting PDR, specifically PDR Fighters and Clerics. It's harder to kill PDR without weak point than it is to kill a caster without cutthroat, so I personally recommend weak point. Against barbarians, your best bet is to whittle them down at range with throwing knives, hand crossbow, poison weapon, and rupture. Honestly though, they're your hard counter, so I recommend just running away. Other than against barbarians though, rogue is still pretty strong.
got stuck. Dude, I tried to put my knife in and it went here. Well, that's the fourth kill in the exact same spot. Okay, wow. I mean, I was just trying to organize my inventory and loot. Man, I got four kills. Landmine rogue. GG. Almost 50,000 people have watched more than one of my videos, and if you're one of them, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.